Hi, my name is Zach and I'm a support engineer at Blackmagic Design's Singapore office. And in this video, we're going to be talking about project backups. Having project backups enabled generates multiple project files at periodic intervals, so you can retrieve them whenever you need them. Now let's learn how to set this up. Right now, I have a project that is open in DaVinci Resolve. What we need to do is go to the top left-hand corner, DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, go to User, Project Save and Load, and this is where you can enable your project backups. Now, there are a few options here that we will talk about. Now, the first few is perform backups every certain amount of minutes. This determines how often backups are saved within an hour. So if I leave this at 10, a backup will be saved every 10 minutes, up to six backups in your last hour of working. After an hour of working, an hourly backup is saved and the minutes backup will begin to be discarded on a first in, first out basis, starting with the oldest minutes backup. This means that you will have up to six backups that represents the last hour's worth of work. The second field is hourly backups for the past certain amount of hours. This determines how many hourly backups you want to have available within a day. So if I leave this at four, a backup will be saved every hour, up to four in a day. Past that number, hourly backups will be discarded on a first in, first out basis, starting with the oldest backup. The third field is daily backups for the past certain amount of days. This determines how many days you want to save backups. If I have this at four, the last project backup saved on any day is your daily backup for that day, up to four days. Past that number, daily backups will be discarded on a first in, first out basis, starting with the oldest backup. Lastly, we have project backup location. This determines the location where your project backup files are saved. You can change all of these fields to fit your backup methodology. Once you're done, press save, and backups will begin to be generated. Now, let's take a look at how to load back your previous backup. What you need to do is go to the bottom right-hand corner, go back to Project Manager, and under your project, right-click, you'll be able to see Project Backups. Click it, and the Project Backups window will open. Now, you will have a list of your backups. I've had this project running for a while, so I have one backup over here that I want to load back into my project manager. All I need to do is press on that backup file, press load, and give it a new project name. I'm just going to delete the copy over here. I'm going to press OK. And the project will be loaded into your project manager. Double click to initialize it. And now you can start working from your backup version. Enabling project backups is essential to protect against any unforeseen circumstances and to get you back up and running at the earliest point of time. I hope this video helps, and for more information, please visit our website at blackmagicdesign.com. Thank you.